It's post time. On behalf of America's Best Racing, I'm Joe Christofak, and it's time to get physical. Now, when handicapping a horse race, it's important to understand that horses are more than just statistics and past performances. They are living and breathing animals. And just like humans, sometimes when they wake up, they feel like a million bucks, and other days they simply wake up on the wrong side of the hay. Now, whether you're an expert horse player or a complete novice, the ability to evaluate horse physicality can go a long way in helping you pick more winners. Now, it is possible to evaluate horse flesh on a television monitor, but there's absolutely no substitute for being at the racetrack live. Now, the area where the horse's saddle is called the paddock, it is accessible to the general public. I suggest when you go to the racetrack, you go down there and check out the horses for yourself, especially with young and inexperienced horses. It's important to see how they're reacting to their environment. What are they feeling like with their surroundings in the walking ring? Are they calm and professional, which would be a good sign? Or are they nervous and upset, which would obviously be a bad sign? Do they look alert and interested or dull and disinterested? Now, Ten minutes before race time, horses head out onto the racetrack for the post parade, and this is the optimum time to evaluate horse flesh. I'm going to tell you three things you need to know about evaluating a horse's physicality. And let's start first with body type. Just like humans and cars, horses have different body types. In sprint races, look for horses that are built like a Mustang. They have compact, big chests, and a big hind end. In route races, look for horses who are built more like a Ferrari. They're sleek, long, and athletic looking, built to go further distances. Now, horses who race well on turf often have big, wide, paddle-type feet. This allows them to get over the ground easier. So when you're in the paddock, take a look at the horse's hoof, especially if they've never been on grass before. Point number two, positive signs to look for. And there are quite a few of them, starting with overall alertness. Is a horse on their toes, nudging the pony? Are they prancy, but not too prancy, just a little dance in their step is always a good sign. Do they have well-defined muscle tone, a shiny coat? Do they have a bright eye and alert ears? Do they have a fluid gait when they walk? Front bandages off is a sign that a horse may be getting over some physical issues. So when you look in your past performances, if it says they've been wearing front bandages and they take them off for this particular race, that could be a good sign. The ultimate sign to me of readiness and class is a horse with their neck bowed. It's an overall sign of invincibility. Point number three, negative signs. Rambunctious, horses who are overly excited, overly eager, wasting valuable energy. A lot of people mistaken this for a good sign. It is not. Horses that are overly excited are running the race before the actual race. Incessant tail swishing is often a sign of being upset or being angry. Sweating on a cool day. Look for a frothy substance on the neck and kidney area. It's a sign of nervousness in horse racing. We call this a horse being washed out. Front bandages on for the first time. Often a sign of some horse that's having a physical issue. Proceed with caution with such horses. Horses that look dull and disinterested, walking with their head down like they just woke up from a nap. Now, this look isn't nearly as negative with older, classy, six, seven, eight-year-old horses who have been to battle several times in their career. It's kind of old hat for them, so if they don't look overly enthused, it's just because they know the routine. A choppy gait. Is a horse having trouble getting the kinks out? That's a negative sign. And don't laugh, but is a horse fat? A lot of times when a horse comes back off of a layoff, they may need a race or two. If they're not tucked up underneath and they look like they're carrying a little bit of extra weight, you might want to wait a start or two before going to the window on that particular individual. Now, horses can't talk, but they can speak with their body language. And, of course, being able to evaluate a horse's physicality can tell you which ones are ready to run a winning race. With knowledge comes horsepower. Live it. Love it. Play it. Share it. Bet on it at americasbestracing.net.